It's the oil of the future. It's the gold of the past. It's everything that we're about on this water planet. Anybody that grew up out here is familiar with taking a mouthful of water at some point as a kid. You know, swimming down at the bay and gardeners and the Atlantic Ocean. It was really precious. It was truly ours. We would go around and scoop the crabs off the pilings and come home with buckets full of crabs for mom to cook up in the tomato sauce. What was so important about being on George Capon raising kids was that they wanted to be here. In the earlier days when the shell fishing and working on the water was the way of life on Long Island. We used to joke that you could walk across Great South Bay on the clam boats that weren't just there clamming, but they were catching clams. We're very lucky to be raising oysters in the cleanest body of water that's left on Long Island. But it's also a reminder of what we once had. Something is changing in the water and the shellfish are not surviving. Suddenly they were gone, but the bay just collapsed. So it's really clear that there are things that we are doing that are making this happen. The way we are managing wastewater is having devastating impacts on our marine and coastal areas. Doing nothing is the worst of all possibilities. Is there still time to take a stand on it? Well, yes, absolutely. It's imperative that all of us take some responsibility for this. We owe it to the estuary and to all life on the planet. But if we have our heads in the sand and just hope it gets better... There's going to be absolutely no future on the water at all. Thank you.